What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be doing an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. We're going to be talking about one trade that I made today on the 26th of February in 2019, as well as taking a look at some other stocks and ETFs that I personally see potential in here towards the end of February in 2019, heading into the March month of 2019, and also we're going to be talking Talking about some stocks that you guys wanted me to talk about today from the discord but before we do get into all of that guys for everybody out there that enjoys the content here on youtube you do find value in these videos feel free to hit that like button it really does help my channel grow as well as joining our discord group chat 100 free the link is down below in the description box we're talking about trading investing stocks news strategies on a day-to-day -day basis in that discord chat and we have a bunch of different channels there ranging through every topic you can think of regarding the stock market. So again, 100% free. We have about 600 members in there nearly talking literally every single hour of the day. There's a conversation going on. So get in there. You will not regret it. And without further ado, let's talk about what ended up happening today in the overall stock market here, starting off with the SPX, the 500 largest publicly traded U.S. companies, down about $2.21, down 0.08% at the close. So a very minimal red day there today for the S&P 500. The Dow Jones down about $34 on the close, down about 0.13%. Again, very minimal red day there for the Dow Jones. And the uh, NASDAQ composite, guys, down about $2.50 here at the close, and we're continuing to drop. This is the future we do see here, down about 0.05% right now. So judging off the three major indices, guys, that we talk about in these videos on a day-to-day -day basis, we really didn't move at all, right? Very minimal red day, pretty much keeping the levels that we closed at yesterday here in the stock market. So let's take a look at the SPX. Let's see some technicals so we can get a better understanding of what is going on here, you know, in the S&P 500. And for those of you guys that have been following the videos, we've been talking about this resistance at about 27.90 and the one at about 28.15. So for those of you guys that have been following the SPX itself over these past couple of days, you've seen that we pushed up to 28.15, I believe leave yesterday 2815 ended up getting rejected by that resistance and now we're trading in this channel here from around 2790 up to about 2815 and the fact that we really just you know closed the day today on a break even level really minimal red day on the day from the close yesterday this support is still intact and we are technically still trading within this channel another thing that we've been talking about guys is this other channel that we see here on the 30 day 90 minute chart that the SPX and the entire market honestly the Dow the Nasdaq has a very similar channel these have been trading the indices have been trading in this right really just determined by this resistance uh you know trend line here and the support and how you draw a channel so you guys can do this for yourself if you're using think or swim simply go up here to the drawings tab hover over drawing tools and go over here and select channel and once you do that guys you can outline right the support of the channel which in this case i'm doing right now and then we can do the resistance which actually we just got rejected at this is a little bit butchered here but bear with me we just got rejected at by you know the 2813 uh resistance right so the fact that we got rejected by the resistance from a couple of months back and at the top of this channel that's a good sign right now that the spx does want to sell off off towards the 50 SMA support and eventually down to the support here of this channel. But again, there's a couple of things we want to wait for before we do get that confirmation that we're selling off. And one of those is we want to get the uh, confirmation that we break below 
2790 which again is that support that we are currently trending on right now we want to break below this 50 SMA and if we want to see a full-on break of pattern to the downside we want to see a break at about 2750 below the support of this channel and, and that's going to be honestly guys a complete break of pattern to the downside and of course this can happen to the upside as well right if we break 2815 if we break that resistance and of course the top of this channel we're going to be moving up to the upside more and that's going to be a breakout pattern with honestly potential more green to come from that point forward so we're at a critical spot guys in the spx right now keep an eye on those levels that i just talked about here the Dow Jones, we are at a resistance at about $26,200. We got topped off there, I believe, yesterday. And for those of you guys that have been paying attention to the Dow and these videos, we've been talking about how the Dow has been trending between this resistance from the 12 uh, 12 slash 3 December 3rd 2018 this resistance here up to the previous resistance from there at about 7 or 11 7 rather November 7th 2018 so we're trending in this channel here the fact that we held it as a support a couple of days ago solidifies that and we popped up got rejected and now we're pulling back so what am I going to keep an eye for here guys for the Dow well I'm going to keep an eye and see are we going to hold this 25,800 old resistance as a new support and from there we could potentially do some horizontal action in terms of the Dow Jones or are we going to break down head towards the support of this channel and potentially break the support of the channel to start a downwards trending pattern really a break of pattern to the downside right but there's always potential more for more green guys especially in the market that we've been in that's just been soaring up so what to keep an eye on for a break to the upside well you probably guessed it we want to see a break above $26,200 and at that point we're going to be breaking out of the resistance of this channel which we got rejected at yesterday and we're going to be breaking out of this resistance here at $26,200 which is going to be the last thing that we want to see before we test all-time highs and in yesterday's video we talked about how we're nearly 2-3% off right now from the all-time highs back in the beginning of uh what was it uh october right the all-time highs were nearly twenty seven thousand dollars we are about 2.5 percent away from there which is honestly really really close so for tomorrow guys just keep an eye on all of those technicals there in terms of the dow jones and of course the nasdaq is in a very similar situation but this one's at a resistance at around $7,100 right now. And if we do break above here, roughly around $7,120 to $7,130, we're going to be trading in between that resistance, which would be a new support at that point, if we do break above it, and the old resistance at about $7,200. Well, not really the old resistance, the next resistance, rather, at about $7,230, which will be the one from around the beginning of November in 2018 so guys keep an eye for the break here in terms of the nasdaq and honestly out of the three major indices guys the nasdaq is really looking like it has the most green upside as of right now and let me explain why very quickly we do see it's more towards the bottom of this channel it's a bit more to the uh you know middle of this rsi meaning it's not too overbought but it's not too oversold either. It's kind of in that sweet medium spot at around 50, 55. And if we do break here, guys, if we do break that resistance, that's going to issue a ton more upside, in my opinion, in the NASDAQ index. And in that case, a lot of tech stocks will be probably doing well if this does soar. Because again, the NASDAQ, for those of you guys that don't know, it's a tech, uh, it's a tech heavy indice. So you know, I do see some potential here to the upside for the NASDAQ and the Dow. Critical resistance like we talked about in the SPX, of course. There's another resistance that we want to keep an eye on right around here. So I would say, guys, the overall markets right now, 
they're kind of in a mixed bag where we could be potentially selling off in the SPX and the Dow, but the NASDAQ does seem like it has some more juice in it. So I'm really excited for tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think down below. In the comments section, are we going to continue to head up? Are we going to start to sell off a bit? I think just judging off the 500 largest companies, you know, when I do my you know analysis here on my own and on the YouTube channel, I really like to focus mostly on the SPX here and what this is telling me guys is that we are due for a pullback so just judging off the SPX I do think there is a little pullback coming but if we look at the NASDAQ the technicals are telling us a different story which is why we're in a very you know interesting spot right now so again let me know down below what do you guys think and let's talk about what I ended up trading today and I'm sure all you guys already saw it in the title of the video yes I had a red day today and I traded UWT and I'm sure a lot of you guys can actually relate to what I'm about to tell you guys right now in terms of UWT where you set a stop loss on a stock or an ETF right and it literally goes all the way down to the exact point of the stop loss hits the stop loss and then runs right back up right I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced this. That's literally exactly what ended up happening to me today. And let me talk to you guys about this trade very quickly. I actually ended up getting into UWT earlier on today. It was roughly about like 10 o'clock, I believe, 1030. The price was at about $14.75. It was on this pullback, actually. We bounced on about $14.50. And if we're looking from the you know the previous couple of days, we see the big margin of profit here on UWT from 1650 down to about 1420. So that opened up the margin of about 10, 11%. So that's initially what attracted me to this ETF. And we do see the uh, consolidation towards the latter half of the day yesterday into aftermarket hours, into pre-market hours today, which is what again opened my eyes to this as you know as a consolidation point as a as a potential point where this one could be headed back up so the fact that we saw the pop up here that was telling me that okay this one could be popping up heavily today we got the pullback and that is when i entered into my position and this is actually um an etf that I wasn't watching too closely today in terms of being, you know, on the computer screen. I was actually not too active in terms of my trading today. And I actually set an OCO bracket order on UWT, which is a one, uh, what's it called? A one cancels the other or something like that. It's called a one cancels the other order, meaning you can set a limit sell and a stop loss at the same exact time. Time. So that's pretty much exactly what I ended up doing today on UWT guys got in at 1475 right around here I believe like 1030 a little bit after 1030 got in right I popped it popped up to 1490 which honestly guys that would have been a good spot to take the profits right that would have been a good spot to take the profits but I set my limit sell a little bit too high here it did not end up hitting it because again I was not too active on the computer which is why I set that one cancels the other order to begin with and we didn't end up hitting my uh you know my limit sell there which sucked because I was up about 1.75 percent my limit sell was a bit higher here at about two percent in profit right it was about at like 1505 or something like that we did not end up hitting it and the funny thing guys is that we pulled back and my stop loss was actually at about fourteen dollars and 48 cents and this is the funny thing that I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced right you set a stop loss from four 1475 guys I was in down to about you know 14 said it it was roughly a two percent stop loss right and then we pulled back all the way to that point hit the stop loss literally on the scent directly on the scent 1448 and then we shot back up heading into the market close at about $14.73, uh, which at that point, guys, I would have been break even. But honestly, I was looking to just hold this one throughout the day. I wasn't really looking to hold it overnight. So I probably would have just taken, you know, the uh, break even here anyway. But the fact that we did, uh, you know, hit that stop loss on the T, head back up, you know, it's pretty funny, right? But that's just... You know, the recap of my trade today, again, OCO brackets, take a look into those guys. If you're not as active 
on your computer, let's say for swing trading, they're perfect for swing trading. You can set a stop loss and a limit sell at the same exact time. And once one triggers, it cancels the other. That's why it's called one cancels the other, right? So my stop loss triggered, it canceled my limit sell at 1508. And of course, if I Got my profit at like 1505, 1508, wherever it ended up being, it would have canceled my stop loss. So, you know, that is a little brief synopsis of what I did today in terms of my trading and what an OCO bracket order is. So, so overall today, guys, a 2% red day for me. I'm still holding Johnson & Johnson. For those of you guys who have been following for a couple of videos now, I bought in Johnson & Johnson last week. This is a stock that I'm swing trading, and this was one of the stocks that I talked about in my three stocks I'm swing trading in February. The other two were Microsoft. Took my profits on that, on that stock, and Caterpillar took my profits on that one yesterday, which is interesting because Caterpillar actually sold off very heavily today due to some news that they got down downgraded i believe home depot missed on their earnings that dropped the entire you know industrials uh you know industry sector whatever you want to call it and it really did affect caterpillar today ticker symbol cat which is honestly one that i'm watching right now for a particular uh you know day trade slash swing trade so let's just start off with that one guys because i did want to talk about very quickly a couple of you know stocks here towards the end of this video that i see potential in and that you guys talk to me about in the discord so the first one that i see some potential in is cat we saw the big gap down from 142 down to about 135 pretty big gap down but the fact that we held the 50 SMA here, you know, as a support, very good sign that we're continuing this uptrend pattern illustrated by that red trend line that I just drew for you guys. And we're also testing this resistance at 137 right now. So if we do end up breaking this tomorrow, guys, this is going to be the uh, deciding factor of whether I'm going to trade it or not. We're going to look to fill the gap from 138 back up to 142.50, which is where I would like to capitalize again, just like I did a couple of days ago on this pop-up here. So that's the first stock I'm watching for tomorrow. Ticker symbol CAT. Another one that I'm watching that I wanted to share with you all was uh, Walmart. Ticker symbol WMT. I don't know why it's not in my active watch list. I swear I did add it. Let me see. Oh, there it is, guys. Walmart. There it is. Sometimes it gets lost. You know, you scroll down, you miss a couple, and you feel like you you didn't put it in. But I did put it in there. And uh, let me show you guys why I see potential in Walmart and what I'm waiting for in terms of this stock. So what do we see here in terms of Walmart, guys? Well, they reported their earnings. The stock shot up to about 105, 106, which was an area of resistance from about a couple of months ago. And now we pulled back down all the way to this old resistance, which is now looking to act as a new support level at around $98. And that opened up a nice 5 6% margin of profit. And we are still holding this higher low, you know, uptrend pattern stemming from the end of December in 2018. So there's a couple of good signs here in terms of Walmart. Again, the pullback the hold on the new support and the hold of this uptrend so what do i want to see for tomorrow guys i want to see a significant push up maybe even up into the 100 range a break out of this resistance slowly into the mid 100 range for the confirmation of the bounce the continuation of the uptrend and of course the confirmation of the hold of this new support level so if we get to the 101 level guys that would be a good entry point for a swing back up to 105 in terms of Walmart. That's what the technicals are telling me, guys. And that is what I'm looking at in particular, you know, in terms of Walmart. Another one I'm watching is Coca-Cola. This is more of a falling knife right now. So out of the ones I'm talking about in this video, this is probably the least one that I'm actually going to trade, the least likely one I'm going to trade. But I still want to cover it in this video because... This one has a huge margin of profit on it, and what we would want to wait for for us to, you know, trade it would be for it to ultimately hold this 4450 support where we bounced at once in the past back in, you know, August of 2018 and twice in the past back in the middle of October 
excuse me, at around $44.50. Excuse me again. So where we see, you know, this one pulling back to based off these technicals is around $44.50. And if we successfully hold above there, break out of this EMA resistance here, this 50 SMA resistance, you know, back into the 45, mid 45 level, maybe 46, this could be a nice little swing trade back up to previous resistances. You know, first one would be at around $46.75, $47. And of course, if we slowly test the higher levels at the $48 range, that could be a good target for Coca-Cola as well but as of right now guys until we see a solidified bounce a solidified break of pattern to the upside here i'm not really going to be looking at trading coca-cola but i still wanted to talk about it today in this video so another one that you guys actually wanted me to talk about today which i honestly wasn't really you know uh watching it to begin with was southwest airlines so the fact that you called this one out today i forget who it was thank you this stock Honestly, on a technical basis, it fits a lot of the categories that I personally like to see in terms of a swing trade, and it reminds me of the pattern that we just saw on Walmart, right? Very similar pattern here, but it honestly looks even better than Walmart. So let's take a look at why I personally like this one. So the first sign that I do like here is the pullback from 58 to 53. That opened up nearly 8% margin of profit. Not only did we pull back, we're holding this old resistance as a new support level, which again, very, very good sign that we're going to continue to push up and see higher levels in a particular stock, right? And also, we're seeing two, three days of that consolidation on the new support, which is a good sign that it's not just one day, then it's pushing to a lower low, another one day consolidation pushing to a lower low. It's two, three consecutive days of consolidation, which means we could be heading up tomorrow or the following day here on Wednesday and on Thursday of trading, which is what I'm going to be watching for it to do, guys. We saw the two days of consolidation. Now I want to see the curl to the upside, the push to the upside, and the potential test at this other resistance at around $55. So this is going to be a huge, huge breakout spot for Southwest Airlines, ticker symbol LUV, will be the test at the resistance and the break above the resistance at about $55. I think that's going to be a good, good spot for you know a potential buy-in in ticker symbol LUV. So honestly, this could trade in two different scenarios, right? I could trade this in two separate scenarios. So let's say tomorrow we do see a slow push to the upside. I might capitalize on a day trade from $54, let's say for example, up to $55. And from there, I would want to sell, right? My plan would be to sell and wait for the break above the resistance for it to hold it as a new support before hopping in again for the ride back up to $57, which would be the next resistance. And of course, if we break that, the next one to test would be around $57 or $58, right? After this $57 one, next one would be around $58.50. So that's the plan, guys, as of right now for LUV. Would love to see the break out of there for a swing trade over the next couple of days, uh, you know, in this stock. So the main ones I did want to talk about today, we really did cover them. Ticker symbol CAT, of course, UWT, guys, tomorrow, if crude oil does end up pushing, uh, you know, back into the $56 range, I believe, or was it $57? Uh, yeah, $56 range. If we do end up pushing back up there, guys, you know, that's going to be a good sign for UWT. Of course, we want to see the break above 56 because that's an old, uh, you know, support, which is now a new resistance. And we want to make it a new support again by breaking above it. And of course, at that point, like I said, UWT is going to be doing very great. LUV is what I want to see uh, uh, do uh, pretty well, according to what I just told you guys. Walmart, and of course, uh, what was the other one we talked about? Now I'm, I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Caterpillar, ticker symbol CAT. And honestly, guys, that is all I'm watching 
for the rest of this week, as well as some cannabis stocks. Oh my God, I almost forgot about the cannabis stocks. The cannabis stocks, Cron today up 7%. It's looking like it's holding the support, so I'm going to be watching this one for a potential pop tomorrow. Let's see uh, CGC. Does CGC do well today? Yeah, CGC's breaking pattern here, so to the upside would be very nice in terms of CGC if it's able to hold... 45 as a new support again that's going to be a good sign so these are the couple of stocks that i'm watching for tomorrow guys let me know down below in the comment section what you're watching i would love to know if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe follow me on instagram as well as on twitter join our discord group chat as well as our facebook group all those are linked down below in the description box i'll catch you all in the next video thanks for watching again as always peace out